Episode 9, right on time. Yes, sir. My swine is smelling fine. <laughs> it's Drewski Love, Mike Cash, Mike and Drew Sports. What up, though? What's up, y'all? We got another one for y'all. Got a good one for y'all today. It's going to be mostly NBA. You know what I'm saying? We just watched uh, NBA Saturday night. We're going to give y'all our grades for that. Give y'all our all-star game predictions. Uh, we're going to talk about my man's Uncle Drew. You know, we share that same name, sort of, kind of. But he got this movie coming out. Kyrie Irving got a new, uh, supposed to be making an Uncle Drew movie, so we're going to get into that. And we're going to start the show by talking a little bit about Draymond comments on Charles Oakley. But before we start the show today, we got two special guests in the building with us. Yes, sir. These are two dear friends. One of them y'all met before. You know what I'm saying? Close personal friend. Like I said, I look up to him, you know what I'm saying, on occasions. <laughs> but it's my man Sean B. Sean Bino in the building. What up, though? What up, though? Then we got our other other main man, you know what I'm saying? We went to school with as well. He got a little bit of football experience behind him, and he also Hello, served our country. Sir. So y'all want to clap it up for my man Cody T, man. What's up, guys? What Thank up, you. Cody? Appreciate it, appreciate it. What's good? Happy to be here. For sure, for sure, man. We appreciate it. Happy to have you here. We for appreciate for real. it. All right, fellas, so we about to get started, you know what I'm saying? So this past, well, two weeks ago, uh, about... Charles Oakley got into it with the Knicks organization and James Dolan, and it caused a big commotion before All-Star Weekend. And uh, since then, uh, Jordan, Michael Jordan, not this Michael Jordan, but the real. I, I ain't going to say the real yeah, Michael I, Jordan, I, I you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say the real Michael Jordan, man. <laughs> but, you know, MJ23 and Adam Silver sat down. Well, they called uh, Charles Oakley and James Dolan, and they fixed the situation for the most part, even though Charles Oakley still said it can't be fixed overnight. So... Draymond on his podcast, uh, I can't think of the name Dre, of it. Dre Day. Oh, yeah, Dre Day. The episode was called He's a Legend. And uh, he said that James Dolan basically operated with a slave mentality in terms of the way he th handled things with Charles Oakley. And said, uh, yeah, he was having a slave owner's mentality and you, you're happy when he does the uh, reckless behavior for you on your team, but you don't want it to come inside your building or cause commotion against you. That's a slave master mentality is what Draymond said. So to Mike Cash first, do you think it should have been taken to that extent to refer to that as a slave master's mentality? Uh, no, I don't think he actually like meant that like James Dolan was like how everybody's saying it, that he's a slave master or right. you know, so I think that Draymond was basically just, you know, just elaborating on what happened to like what was going on with Charles Oakley that he, I'm trying to say this, when Charles Oakley was, uh, like, say for instance, like, messing people up in the league, fighting people, right. rocking people down, it was all good right. for him, you know what I'm saying, sort of like when you're a slave worker, you know, you out in the field, you're right. doing hard work, you, you know what I'm saying, you bleed and doing all this, and then one, you, you, you turn around, and when you start speaking out on it and now you don't want to follow the rules now you want to discipline me right and you know what i'm saying just take it to as far as being whipped and different stuff like that so right. then they wanted to take away his seats from the game first off they made him pay for the seats took away the free seats didn't want to shake his hand so when i'm looking at that i'm looking at something like towards like it's not really, I don't want to make yeah. him seem like a slave master. And I said last week, it like shouldn't that. even have been, like race shouldn't even have been included in mm -hmm. this situation, in my eyes. But what you think, Sean B? I think that uh, the way that James Nolan, what's his name, James Nolan? Dolan. 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 See, I don't even know Dolan. Dolan <laughs> I think the way he handled the situation, the way he handled it, he left doors open for criticism and racism as a product of that criticism. I don't know if his actions were fueled by racism, but I can say that they were classless. And the way he went about it left people, left the situation open for people to analyze it. And when you analyze it the way it happened, basically, essentially, he didn't like what was going on with the organization. He expressed himself. And as a result, he ended up being banned from Madison Square Garden. Now, I think that the slave master's mentality comes into play where Draymond just thinks that, okay, once someone speaks out, you try to shut them down. 
not letting them express themselves and things of that nature. So he tried to keep him in slave like a check like a slave. I, I I don't necessarily think it was a slave mentality, but I do know that it was classless, man. Because just off the simple fact that he came out and said, you know, he he got a little unruly. We gonna try to get him some help. Right. Uh, he made comments about Charles Oakley having uh, problems with alcohol abuse and drug abuse. And then when they tried to, you know, ask him about that previous, uh, about it, like, you know, were, were there any previous interactions with you and Charles Oakley with alcohol or drug abuse? He was like, no. And then he said, maybe I spoke out of turn. I shouldn't have said that. When you're the face of an organization, when you're the president of the GM, you have to carry yourself with class, man. Because they got incoming, you know, free agency is right around the corner. The Knicks need some free agents. The way that Phil Jackson is handling Carmelo Anthony and the way that Dolan is handling this situation with Charles Oakley, they're making the New York Knicks a very uh, undesirable place to be. So that really told me a lot about the situation when he came out and said that he thought he had alcohol problems and drug abuse problems. He was just trying to get the heat off himself for, uh, you mm -hmm. know, overreacting in that situation. Right, right. So how you feel, Cody? Uh, it's, it's funny because when he said, you know, Draymond talks about the, uh, the slave master comments. When he said that, I really think he's just trying to refer to the, that privilege, that the, uh, the comparison of privilege between the slave masters and the slaves and the owners and the players. Right. Because everything's all, you know, well and dandy when the uh, slaves or the players are performing well and doing right. things for you. But then when when things aren't going so so tough or so so good, you know, uh, you can switch up really fast. Right. And you saw it with James Olin, like, all the years of support that, you know, Charlie Oakley gave the Knicks organization and things like that, but it's where the just to be treated such such so poorly in right. a place that you could call your home at one point it just shows that some people believe that their privilege or their position as an owner or in life or whatever may make them feel as if they may be above right. certain people or where they can't be caught out on things if they may treat someone else wrong okay. you know the slave has come it may be a little far but I can definitely see the comparison you know because mm -hmm. it's gonna maybe a little controversy here right. but it's definitely you know the way the society is going with race, race right. being so prominent in everyday life and everything. There's definitely some comparisons out there to okay. the old times and you know what's going on now, right. as you can see. But you know the way the way you treat old is just wrong, flat right. out. And then to come back with the next two days and then have a trail Sprewell. Why is the trail Sprewell so willing to sit down with exactly. James Dolan though? That's when Charles Oakley came out and said he don't he don't trust him. He don't he don't, don't trust he don't, who? He don't rock Spreewell. with Sprewell just shouldn't. for him. Yeah. He's just crazy. Because they lifted the band.